The fourth perspective, it's going to get a little confusing with the fourth and fifth perspective, so just beware, because they're a little bit more abstract than these first three. The psychodynamic perspective was started by Sigmund Freud back in the early 1900s, and he came up with the idea of the unconscious mind. He was the first person to ever come up with the idea of the existence of an unconscious mind. Now the reason that there is a, an iceberg in this picture is that Freud compared the mind to an iceberg. Now you can see that the peak of the iceberg is sitting on top of the water and we can see it. Freud believed that's what we're aware of at any given moment in time. So right now you're aware of the things that you're learning right now. You're aware of my voice. You're aware of the screen in front of you. You're aware of the notes that you're taking. All of these different things. At the surface of the water and right below the surface of the water is called our pre-conscious mind. Now, you don't need to know that. I'm just kind of teaching you a little bit here. The pre-conscious mind is things that are in our memory, things that we can easily recall. For example, if I were to ask you, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, you'd be able to tell me. Or if I were to ask you, you know, what's your mom's name? You'd be able to tell me. Those are things that you can easily recall. Or if I asked you to spell Mississippi. You weren't thinking about it at that moment until I ask you the question and then you can easily recall it. And look at the bottom of the iceberg. It's huge. That's what Freud said is our unconscious mind or compared the size of that iceberg under the water to our unconscious mind. That it's just huge and it's filled with things that we aren't even aware of because we can't reach them consciously because they're so deeply submerged in our mind that we don't have access to them on our own. See how this is a little more complex and a little more abstract than the, beha the behavioral or the biological or the cognitive perspectives. This one's a little bit more out there, but there is some evidence, um, not real concrete, but there is some evidence for the existence of an unconscious mind. So what the psychodynamic believers would say is that the reason we do the things that we do are because of repressed memories. Things that have happened to us or things that we have experienced that we have pushed into our unconscious mind, whether we've done that deliberately or undeliberately. It has just gone into our unconscious mind and we don't have access to it anymore. Childhood experiences that have taken place. It's been so much time since we have had that experience that it's been kind of forgotten and it's in our unconscious mind. Freud would say though, and other psychodynamic theorists would say that the majority of our unconscious mind is filled with things that are needs that we have that we may or may not even realize are needs or their unfulfilled wishes that we have that maybe it's too threatening to really think about those things because we're afraid they won't ever happen so we just push them into our unconscious mind. So that's the psychodynamic perspective. I know it's a little confusing and usually when you're trying to apply this perspective you do have to use your imagination. So let's look at the little boy again. What do you think that the psychodynamic perspective would say is the reason that he's going around using the force. Use your imagination. Be a little creative. Stop the video and write a few things down. Okay, what have you got? The psychodynamics would believe that there would be some sort of a repressed experience that he has had using the force. If you're confused by that, it's okay. Just use your imagination. Maybe there's some unconscious need to feel powerful and using the force is what makes him feel powerful. We don't know where it comes from. We don't know why, but there's something in his unconscious mind that drives him to today dress up like Darth Vader and walk around using the force. Keyword there is unconscious.